sorry. All right, how about tub thumping? Tub thumping? Yeah. You know, that'll get the old joint jumping, won't it? I'll get knocked down when I get up no, again. No, no, no. You promised me you'd sing something sweet, something sentimental. Well, like what? Don't know. How about you're beautiful? Oh, come on, do us a favour. This is Polly we're talking about, isn't it? We want to send her off with a bit of Sandy Lyle, don't we? Not make her vomit. Army control to 3009, emergency call. Please request disturbance. Two patients. Query, one unconscious. 3009 received over. Right, is there in attendance? My way to hell, then. Okay, can you tell us what happened, Paul? I don't know, saw when I woke up this morning. By the time I got back from the library, I couldn't bear it. Paul's sitting an exam on Monday. Oh, oh, failing in an exam. Oh, come on, mate. Eh? Think positive. Two set of orbs and check the Yes, so Oh, you were finishing. Uh, another five minutes and I'm out of here. Listen, uh, no Kirsty today? Took some leave, family crisis. It's the best part, the 500 quid. Nah, yeah, you haven't won it yet, mate. No, it's coming like a feeling in my bones. <laughs> Sounds like rheumatism. <laughs> Big Max puts a bet on this afternoon. The first three horses have come in. Just one more to go. Yep, 20 minutes to victory. Uh, we know who's buying the drinks tonight, then. Absolutely. <laughs> well, you I'd appreciate a heads up next time you decide to go AWOL. Not my fault, I'm afraid. I was taken hostage. I'm being serious. So am I. Poppy forced me into a therapy session with a fleet woman. Really? How did that go? Don't ask me. I walked out halfway. Charming. Dr. Keogh, I need to speak to you. What happened to you? There's nothing. I really, really need to speak That's to you. That's not nothing. Let me have a look at it. Right, I'll leave this with you. Dylan, please. Sorry, I've got a thing. Hospital stuff. What's wrong with you? Considering a career change. Did you have anything in mind? Yes. Deep sea Arctic trawler fishing. Saw it on the telly. Very good money. A bit dangerous, though. Beats dealing with needy patients. Anything? Apparently the board is still deliberating. It's their idea of fun, making us wait. And I'm just glad it's done and dusted. Endless rounds of interviews, it's exhausting. <laughs> oh, I don't know. I actually found it quite invigorating. Only because you enjoy talking about yourself. That's unfair. I also enjoy trashing the competition. <laughs> Bad-mouthing me, were you? Well, I may have mentioned you had a drink problem. <laughs> Bringing in a head trauma when you're ready. And Hanson called. Apparently some board members are coming down to observe. Oh, that's all we need. Observe what, exactly? Well, they're coming down here to watch us compete for the job. <laughs> they can forget it. Absolutely. We're professionals, for heaven's sake. Hi, guys. Oh. What have we got here? OK, oh. this is Mr Stephen Orr. Hello, Mr Orr. I'm Mr Jordan, and this is Number Mr Number two. Turner. He was found in a collapsed state. He sustained a blunt injury to the head from a police baton and scalp lacerations. His GCS of 12 is responsive to disorientation. Right, thank you. Three, one, two, three. Oh. Oh. Looks like it kicks oh. up with a couple of coppers. Oh. 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 Oh
Okay, Mr. Roy, just going to look on that, please. Yeah. Okay, airway clear, no obstruction. Can you stay still for us, please. Okay, try and stay calm, Stephen. Okay? There's nothing on the lungs. We have got an audience, look. Oh, Moss and Butler, they were on my panel. Do you want to take a look at the wound? Remove the huggers and support his head. Wait, give me a hand here. Stay still for us, please. Okay. okay. Ready? Yeah. Okay. Oh, oh my God! Ooh, Take nasty. a look at this. Test. Will you call CT for us, please, and book a head scan? I need full blood count. Use an E's, LFTs, and coag. What's he saying, Anna? He's not saying much at the moment. He's taken several severe blows to the skull. He'll be okay, though. Yeah. We're sending him for a CT scan. But it would help if you told me exactly what happened. He flipped. Is what happened. He was breaking into a place on Lincoln Way. Yeah, he came at me with a crowbar and then he took me head off. It was all I could do to defend myself. WPC here watched it happen. Yeah, that's right. Now, any chance I could get some treatment? Follow me. So what, man? You fail a few exams, not exactly the end of the world, is it? <sighs> I tried telling my dad that. He's expecting straight A's. Oh, really? Oh, mate, that's not good. Right, let's head this... What are you doing here? Oh, when you didn't turn up, I went round yours and your dad said you was here. Well, you didn't have to come all the way down. Of course I did. I was worried about you. I'm just gonna keep going, all right? Look, I don't know how long I'll be, but uh, it's probably best if you, like, head off. Don't be soft. I want to stay. I've got a date, remember? Do you want me to take your books? No, I'll, I'll need them. Listen, why don't you just go and wait in the way now? It won't be long. Okay. All right? Mate, she is fit. What? Oh, okay, yeah, she's cool. Cool? <laughs> what? You're not exactly much of a romantic guy, are you? It's not that serious. Well, someone better tell her that then. Because she is well keen. Trust me, she come all the way down here to see if you're okay. No, I didn't ask her to, right? right. Sorry. I'm just stressed about exams. All I can think about. Sometimes I wonder what she's doing with me. Oh, you got the gift, man. Gift. Women are drawn to you. You're like a, you're like a sexual magnet. You can't fight it. Oh no, because I'm the same. You've got the gift. Well, at least I used to. Kind of lost it a bit recently. Never get involved with a doctor, mate. Anyway, better get you sorted fast because you have got a hot day tonight. No. I don't know. Oh, speak to Dr. Pia. Well, we need to sort that arm out first. No, you don't understand. This is important. Yes, well, this is also very important because if we don't treat it... Well, I might be scarred for life. OK, listen, Hannah. Let me do this and then we'll both go and look for Dr. Keo. How about that? Thank you. Now, do you want to tell me how this happened? Oh, I was boiling water. I spilled it. I'm stupid. Yeah, but that was earlier, though, wasn't it? What? I read your notes. We treated the burn this afternoon. So how did oh, how did you injure it again? Hand. Hannah, Hannah, come back. Hannah, Hannah, we need to treat your arm. Come on. No, no. Please.
Right, now if there's nothing else, I am going on my break. Actually, mate, I need you to cover the desk for me. Ah, uh, no way! The race starts in, what, five minutes? Oh, sorry, mate, nature calls, yeah? I thought you were making the announcement today. Slight delay, can't be helped. Things not go according to plan. Well, the board just need a little longer to reach a decision, that's all. Thank in the you. meantime, you thought it would be wise for them to come down and see us in action. Is that a problem for you? Absolutely not. Take all the time you need. After all, we wouldn't want them to appoint the wrong candidate, Dr. would we? Dr. Theo, I've arranged for the skull to be redressed, but I really think she needs a psych assessment. You'll get no argument from me. Great, you'll talk to her then. How? Why do I need to talk to her? Because I need you to convince her to talk to psych. She obviously trusts you. <laughs> the woman hates my breathing guts. She thinks I'm responsible for what happened to her. She says she has something important to tell you. But I don't need to hear it. All of this is way out of my remit. Since when is talking out of your remit? I'm an ED doctor. I do broken bones, open wounds, the odd heart attack. I am not a psychologist. <laughs> what? I just don't understand why you're so resistant to talking. I've told you before, the woman her. is disturbed. Are you sure she's the why only one? Why is everybody in this place so obsessed with talking? It's like one big episode of Loose Women. I've got your hair. I've been looking everywhere for you. Dr. Hannah says you have something to tell me. Can you give us five minutes, please? Thank you. Well? OK, OK. Before I tell you, you have got to promise me that you will explain, that you will speak to them. Speak to who? They're going to be angry, but you can make them see that it was a mistake, that it wasn't my fault. Hannah, what the hell are you talking about? I am talking about us sticking together. Why would we stick together? Because you understand. You and me, we've been through this together, we're connected. No, Hannah, we're not. What? You didn't feel part of this? Right, tell me the truth, Anna. I don't feel anything. Now, do you have something to tell me or not? You shouldn't have walked out. What? If you'd have stayed, none of this would have happened. I suppose I've left ten minutes ago. Yeah. Just want you to take a look at it. Right. Well? You were right about the psych report. What did she want to tell you? Apparently we're connected. In what way? Spiritually, emotionally, mentally. It seems I complete her. Be serious. I am. What, so that's you done there now, yeah? You asked me to talk to her and talk to her. Mm. Get this blast me as soon as. Have you seen Polly? Uh, I reckon she'll be in the pub by now. That um, uniform police officer down there, uh, the one with the injured arm, take a look, tell me what you think. Think you'd do better? Says he got hit by a crowbar. So? Does that look like a crowbar injury to you? You expect me to diagnose him from here? Oh, word, Miss Turner, please. There's a problem, I'm afraid. Board didn't vote quite as I expected. It seems Mr. Jordan's now a front runner for the post. I see. Well, naturally, I'm. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I'm disappointed. Well, it's not over yet. I'm sure you've still got a chance to change their minds. Are you suggesting I bribe them? I'm suggesting you stop allowing Mr. Jordan to look as if he's running this place already. It makes you look bad. Excuse me. Where are you going? You said five minutes. What about the desk? It's still there. Oh, not going anywhere, is it? There's <laughs> nothing somebody's going to nick it. <laughs> right. <clears throat> Come on, baby. Let's make Uncle Mac some big money. Right. What time is it? Oh, uh, here we go. Oh! oh. OK. Um, That's it. Right. OK, we're going to start the orders. And they're off! Come on, you big dick, come on. That's it, that's it. Oh, that's no, 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 come on, that's it. Off you go. Come on, keep going, keep going, keep going. That's a wee girl. That's it, that's it. Come on. Uh, uh, what 
Nej, du är inte hungrig. Det ligger mer än ett tack. Lost. Jag har också varit en ny boy. Du ska ta en kvickare väg till ED. Ehm... Well, back up the stairs you just come down. Wait. You come in? Mm. You, uh, you didn't happen to hear a dog back in many chances, did you? Dog? What were you doing down there, anyway? Uh, maintenance issue. It's a funny name for a horse. Do you trust me? Of course I do. Well, let me handle it. Okay? You wouldn't happen to have a number for Polly, would you? Yeah, yeah, of course. Just give us a minute, mate. Hold on. Oh, what are you playing at? I'll just give out a number to a complete stranger. Yeah, but he's hardly a stranger, is he? Oh, uh, yeah, but shouldn't you check with her first? Oh, for God's sake, Jeff, you're not a dad. All right, fine. Get on. Get on. Isn't smoking in uniform against the rules? You haven't been out of police college long, have you? About four months. I'm still on probation. Ah. Oh, so PC Silver is your tutor? Yeah. What did he teach you today? You weren't there. It was a pressure situation. It's not easy having to cope with something like that. True. But that is what you're trained for, isn't it? I should have thought somebody with his experience should be able to cope. I had an uncle in the police. Loved the job. Said it was like joining a big family. I suppose it is. But families work on trust, don't they? Can't lie to family. Shouldn't have to lie for them either. I should go and check on Gary. Look, I'm not being funny. But do we know anything about this, Keith? Well, he seems nice enough. This is Polly we're talking about, mate. Nice enough's not going to cut it. She deserves someone a bit special. Jeff, he asked for a phone number, not a hand in marriage. Oh, I just don't want to see her get messed about, that's all. You're going to miss her, aren't you? Oh, nonsense. Yes, you are. Uh, hi, uh, Poppy. It's um, Dr. Keogh, um, Dylan. Um, so much for talking. Um, uh, give me a call when you get this message. Okay, bye. Anna, you know I've got somebody coming down to talk to you. Uh, uh, talk to me about what? Well, about how you're feeling. Why would they care about how I'm feeling? Dr. Keo doesn't. That's not true. It is. Man thinks I'm a monster. Hannah, nobody thinks you're a monster. There's nothing on your x-ray, Paul. Are you sure you can't think of anything else that might be causing the pain? No. Like I said, came on this morning. Right. You haven't had a, a fall recently or aggravated an old sporting injury, perhaps? <laughs> Does chess count? If the pieces are large enough, I guess. We won't be a minute, OK? So, what's the verdict? Well, he's a little inconsistent about the location of the pain. What, you think he's faking? No, not quite. He's in genuine discomfort, but I think it's more psychological than physical. Phantom pain is a response to stress. It's not that unheard of. Has he got something on his mind? Worried about his exams, I suppose. Could have feeling his dad's putting pressure on him. That would do it. Pressure could be causing his body to act out. Um, what do I do, then? I'll give him some more analgesia and send him home. Ah, uh, nothing too serious. Might need a bit of rest, though. Good. He needs a break from all that studying. Still here? I know. I'm on my way to the pub. Well, Kirsty called, and she's taking the rest of the week off. Right, I see. I'm sure it's nothing serious. Yeah, of course. 
Oh, Miss Turner. Stephen Orr's sister is here, and she seems a little on the fierce side. Mm, thanks for the warning. Miss Orr? I'm Miss Turner. Got a call at work, said Stephen was here. He's in our resuscitation room. He has a significant head injury. I'm what afraid. the hell happened? It's my understanding that he was involved in an incident with some police officers. I don't know the details, but it seems that Stephen was disturbed while breaking and entering. What? That doesn't sound plausible to you? Of course it doesn't sound plausible. He can barely dress himself, never mind rob a house. Of course. I'm so sorry. Let's go and see him. Oh, my God, Stephen! Bloody hell, look at the mess of him! Be back, please, madam. CT, you're ready for him now, Mr Jordan. Yes, well, will you tell them there's going to be a short delay? I'm going to intubate. We can get the scan done now, Tess. Prepare five milligrams of midazolam. We can't be sure that he will lie still for the scanner, so I am going to intubate. What are your concerns, Miss Turner? Well, I don't think we need to intubate. His airway is stable. We could do the scan now. That seems a valid point, Mr Jordan. My opinion is that we should continue with RSI. And I think we should take a chance. Fine. OK, Tess. Right, look sharp, everyone. He's on the move. Wait a minute. Where's he going? We're taking him for a CT scan. Is he going to be OK? He'll know a lot more after the scan. Right, I want him back down here and stable ASAP, please. I don't believe this. I saw him this morning. No point in worrying until we know the results of the scan. What were you playing at, you dozy git? Quickly. Is this your doing? Excuse me? Are you the ones responsible? Um, uh, uh, try to stay calm, Sandra. This is Mr Orr's sister. Proud of yourselves, are you? Knocking the hell out of some defenceless lad. He was committing a crime. No way Stephen's a thief. He was breaking into a house. What? What house? Where? A place on Lincoln Way. Lincoln Way? Number 91, was it? Maybe. That's my house! OK, let's get him back into recess. Switch as you can, please. What's happening? He went off in the lift. He started fitting. CSF coming out of his left ear. OK, someone call neurosurgery, please. What's wrong with it? Possibly sustained a basal skull fracture. OK, let's ventilate. Give him 20 mils of 20% mannitol and stand by with 25 milligrams of fruzamide. That's OK with you, Miss Turner. I made the call based on the evidence. Sometimes you have to prepare for the worst. OK, ready? Did you even ask him? He was breaking in. He probably lost his keys or something. Maybe if you'd have let him explain. Sandra, take it easy. Oh, no, you just got stuck in, didn't you? Look, I understand you're upset. You're damn right I'm upset. You cracked his skull open! He was aggressive and needed restraining. It was my house! Just, just calm down! Stop it! It wasn't him! It wasn't him! Get off me! just went out of my head, all of it gone. What did? All the training, all the things they taught me. Well, what happened, Yvonne? We get a call to the house, someone suspicious. Daddy tells me to check round the back, so I go, and there he is. I mean, he looked like he was breaking in. Did you try to speak to him? He had his back to me, see, and I thought, if he turns round, I've got no chance. I mean, the size of him. I panicked. I started hitting them and I couldn't stop. Was still at it when Gary pulled me off Yvonne, and ended up hitting him too. Yvonne, stop. You can't take the blame for this, Gary. It's not right. I just wanted to be a decent copper, but everything they taught me just went out of my head. Look, it was my fault. I shouldn't have let her check the back on her own. You lied to protect her. I didn't want her getting kicked out. She's got a future. What about Stephen's future? It was a mistake. It looked like he was breaking in. Well, now it looks like he has brain damage. You owe his sister an apology. But well, he's definitely been more worried recently. I suppose. I mean, he's pretty intense a lot of the time. Because he's smart, I reckon. And what about his dad putting on the pressure? Always nagging him to revise more. I've tried to help, you know, studied him, things like that. He's lucky to have you. Not so sure about that. Not as bright as Paul. I think I'm just a nuisance, really. I think you'd rather be with someone smarter. You stay here, I'll bring him out, all right? I find Star and Unlock usually does the trick. Uh, Poppy's not in the pub. Me and Polly. 
I'm surprised she's usually under the table by now. I, I called Alan. He said it's you just him and a few of the ambulance crew. Maybe she's on her way there now. I've tried her twice. She's not picking up. Maybe she's just not picking up to you. Try that. So you're saying I'm imagining this? I'm saying sometimes pain can be a response to stress. Come on. And if you were worried about something... Uh, what do you mean worried? OK, easy. Well, you've got your exams. And then there's the dad getting on the case. Uh, I'm not worried about my exams. Well, maybe not consciously, but if it's preying on the back of your mind, honestly, pressure starts to get to you, trust me. Yeah. Oh. Whoa. What's all this? Mate, what kind of exam are you sitting? No, they're not for any exams, all right? OK. OK, I, I don't understand. They're for Kate. Well, they're for me, but... It's been two months now, and... You know, she keeps having me round to study, and then she wants to... You know... Yes, of course, do something a bit more fun yeah, with it. Can't keep putting her off. What, you don't want to, is that it? No, I want to. It's just she's had a lot of practice. You don't know that? Uh, mate, she went out with Barry Gordon for, like, eight months. Oh, so what? You haven't had a lot of experience. Honestly, mate, it really does not matter. I haven't had any experience. She finds out I'm a virgin and... Well, she'll dump me. You know, you could always tell her the truth. You're joking. Do, do you realise how lucky I am to have someone like that? Well, mate, either way, you're going to have to do something, because right now she thinks you are not interested. Trust me. Why would she think that? Well, I don't know. Why don't you talk to her and find out? Well, and what exactly is the problem? I just need to talk to her. Well, the site counsellor's in with her at the moment. And anyway, ten minutes ago, you couldn't stand being in the same room as her. So much for being with psych. Where did she go? Did you see where she went? Well, she left her phone. Hold on. Hi, uh, Poppy. Um, what? Dylan? Well, what's the problem? I should have walked out. Walked out of where? Dylan! Wait! Dylan. You check admin, I'll check reception. Okay. What am I gonna do? Tell her the truth. <laughs> you think I'm a loser? No, she won't. You got the gift, I told you. Look, mate. You want to see her back with Barry? Well, then come clean. Listen, she will think it's sweet. Trust me. Come on. So, how are we doing? Ah. Uh... Hannah, stop. I just want to go. There's something we need to discuss. Sorry, I need to go. This won't take a moment. Why did you have Polly's phone? You said none of this would have happened if I hadn't walked out. What happened? You know, it's kind of weird when you think about it. Think about what? Well, I mean, it's not so she knew us. She didn't have to help us, but she did. Very thoughtful of her. What happened after I left? You think she's pretty, don't you? I'm serious, Hannah. I can see why. She's got excellent bone structure. Where is Polly? You know, in a way, it was your fault. If you'd have listened, if you'd have pretended to have listened... Well, I'm listening now. Yeah, but it's too late now, isn't it, Dr Keogh? What happened? What happened, Hannah? What did you do? Get me out of here. Oh! Hannah, stop! Stop that woman! Somebody stop that woman! Just hang on a minute, man. Oh, stop, police! Oh. Stay where you are! You stop right there. No, no, I need to talk Put to... the knife down. Uh, the, the knife is... is it's not my... down and on the floor! Jay, downstairs now. I think Polly's been hurt.
going to be all right. <sighs> oh, no, I know it's bad. Can't you see? Oh, I was just trying to help her. I didn't see this coming. She said something big. <laughs> OK. You just stay calm and you let me help, all right? Oh, come on, answer the bloody phone! It's too late. Hey, don't you say that, all right? Don't you talk like that. You'll get through this. You have to. You've got a new job. You're going to be a counsellor, yeah? You're going to help loads of people. Loads of people like me. You can help me, yeah? Yeah. OK. Help me work through my problems. What am I? Commitment phobe? Intimacy issues? You're a broken record. Broken record? What, you mean? I go on and on, can't stop talking, that's my problem. Polly, stay with me, Polly. Tell me, Polly! <laughs> now tell me, how am I like a broken record? Uh, you keep sticking at the same bit. Yeah? Good girl. Same bit of what? The relationships, when it gets heavy. Right, now I see what you're saying. I love them and leave them. I abandon them, yeah? Abandon yourself. I think I understand what that means. You could have had something. Yeah, I know. You're right. I messed up, Polly. I messed up. I'm the only person you loved. I know. Listen. Listen to me, OK? As soon as we get you fixed up, me and you, we'll give it another go, yeah? Not me. Oh, Ruth. Oh. Holly, stay with me! Oh, come on, will someone answer! He tried to attack She's me. Lying. Yes, you did, you tried to threaten Hello. me! Stop Look, calm down, both of you, OK? For God's sake, Zoe, will you tell him? She's deranged. He tried to attack me, he tried to rape it's me! It's a very serious accusation, She's mate. emotionally unstable. Oh. I think she's done something to Polly. Oh. Come on. Move! Right, I need a doctor and a grab bag now. Let's get a trolley down to the basement, Dr Keogh. Uh, conscious, but she lost a lot of blood. Uh, down time about an hour. Get it! 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 You got it? Yeah. Okay. okay, you take the lift, we'll take the stairs. We'll see you up there. Okay. All right, kids, you're going to be fine, okay? She wants to stop saying Yeah, well, you're with us now, okay? And you're going to be fine. Trust me, you're going to be fine. All right, you're going to be fine. Okay. Okay. We've got you, darling. Okay, I'm going to I'll make the project. Yeah, you will. You know what Dixie's like if she doesn't get her cider. <sighs> Jeff's doing karaoke. Yeah, you don't want to miss that. How long do you think she's been down there? She was supposed to be in the pub. Come on, how slow is this lift? Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. Oh, we need Mr. Jordan. I'll be back. Okay, we're going on your three. One, two, three. Oh, that's one. Oh. What have we got? Penetrating wound to the chest area. Hypervolemia. She lost a lot of blood. That's terrible. OK, let's get a large bore line in, please. Two litres of jelly, two units of own egg, and cross-match the blood for six units. Get her head down. Let me get in there. Hemorrhaging Come on. badly. Come on, come on. I think she's hit the left ventricle. Uh -huh. oh, I just can't see it down. Okay, yeah, yeah, I've got a pulse, I've got a pulse. Where are we with the O-neg? On its way. Switch the saline in and put all the blood through the infusers. Where's Jay? Come. Jay? I'm here. I'm here, I'm here, I'm right here. Come on. So I'm gonna be all right. Pulse is steady. No BP. 
Is that thirty percent? She's arrested. I've lost the pulse. It's gone. I've got your seat sheets, PA. Mine out the way. Quickly. Let me get in there. One milligram of adrenaline. Now. Where's the blood? Someone chase the blood. Come on. Oh, okay. Leaking badly. Yeah, far too late. We've got to stop this bleed. Come on. We need to find it first. Thoracotomy. Zoe, get me a thoracotomy tray. No, no. Now, please. You need to think this through. I already have, Miriam. If we open her up, we'll have a better chance of stemming the flow. You need to do that in theatre. We haven't got time. You can't cut her open. Even if you could locate the bleed, you're talking five to ten percent survival. Well, her chances will be even less if I don't do this. You've got to be objective here. She won't make it. Zoe, let's intubate, please. Right, let's give her one milligram of adrenaline. Keep the fluids pushing it, please. Tess, apply cricoid pressure. I'll need a hand with a tube, Jay. Come on! Right, let's tilt the head. All right, let me get some suction in here, Jay. Let's see what we've got. Okay. Let's get the tube. Let's inflate the cough. Come on, Jay. I'm sorry, I can't. Jay, what are you doing in there? You're right, mate. I thought it was sweet. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. You should go, mate. Me, please. Okay. I'm gonna make a left lateral thoracotomy. <clears throat> More swaps here, please. Suction. <sighs> Rib spreaders. Suction. Another swap head, please. That's it, back that down. Just... Yeah. Got it. It's a massive hole in the ventricle. Right, I'm going to start cardiac massage. <laughs> OK. Let's see if that does it. She's an ace, Sister Lee. Right, we go again. Give her another shot. Nick. Give her the shot, please. Come on. Nick, please. You've got to stop now. Right, we go again. Give her another shot of adrenaline, please. You've got to call it. There's still time, Miriam. Please. Mr. Jordan. It's enough now.
Time of death. 
Pinocchio. I'll explain, and he'll sort this, OK? Okay, can you tell us what happened, Paul? I don't know. Saw when I woke up this morning. By the time I got back from the library, I couldn't bear it. Paul sitting an exam on Monday. Oh, oh, failing in an exam. Oh, come on, mate. Eh? Think positive. You said of all, isn't you? Yes, so. Oh, you were finishing. Uh, another five minutes and I'm out of here. Listen, uh, no Kirsty today. Took some leave, family crisis. It's the best part, the 500 quid. Yeah, uh, you haven't won it yet, mate. No, it's coming like a feeling in my bones. <laughs> Sounds like rheumatism. <laughs> <laughs> Big Max puts a bet on this afternoon. The first three horses have come in. Just one more to go. Yep, 20 minutes to victory. Uh, we know who's buying the drinks tonight, then. Absolutely. <laughs> well, you I'd appreciate a heads up next time you decide to go AWOL. Not my fault, I'm afraid. I was taken hostage. I'm being serious. So am I. Poppy forced me into a therapy session with a fleet woman. Really? How did that go? Don't ask me. I walked out halfway. Charming. Dr. Pio, I need to speak to you. What happened to you? There's nothing. I really, really need to speak That's to you. That's not nothing. Let me have a look at it. Right, I'll leave this with you. Dylan, please. Sorry, I've got a thing. Hospital stuff. What's wrong with you? Considering a career change. Did you have anything in mind? Yes. Deep sea Arctic trawler fishing. So you're on the telly. Very good money. A bit dangerous, though. Beats dealing with needy patients. Anything? Apparently the board is still deliberating. It's their idea of fun, making us wait. And I'm just glad it's done and dusted. Endless rounds of interviews. It's exhausting. <laughs> oh, I don't know. I actually found it quite invigorating. Only because you enjoy talking about yourself. That's unfair. I also enjoy trashing the competition. Bad-mouthing me, were you? Well, I may have mentioned you had a drink problem. <laughs> Bringing in a head trauma when you're ready. And Hanson called. Apparently some board members are coming down to observe. Oh, that's all we need. Observe what, exactly? Well, they're coming down here to watch us compete for the job. <laughs> they can forget it. Absolutely. We're professionals, for heaven's sake. Hi, guys. Yeah. What have we got here? OK, this is Mr Stephen Orr. Hello, Mr Orr. I'm Mr Jordan, and this is Number Mr Turner. Number two. He was found in a collapsed state. He sustained a blunt injury to the head from a police baton and scalp lacerations. He was GCS of 12. He's responsive to disorientation. Right, thank you. Please, on three. One, two, three. Oh. Oh. Looks like it keeps oh. up with a couple of coppers. Oh. Oh. OK, Mr Orr, just going to look on that, please. Oh. Yeah. OK, airway clear, no obstruction. Oh. Stay still for us, please. Okay, try and stay calm, Stephen. Oh. Hey? There's nothing on the lungs. We have got an audience. Look. Oh. Oh. oh, Moss and Butler, they were on my panel. Do you want to take a look at the wound? Remove the huggers and support his head. Wait, give me a hand here. Oh. Stay still for us, please. Okay. Oh. okay. Ready? Yeah. Okay. Oh, oh my God. Oh, take nasty. a look at this. Test, will you call CT for us, please, and book a head scan? I need full blood count, use and ease, LFTs and coag. What's he saying, Anna? He's not saying much at the moment. He's taken several severe blows to the skull. He'll be OK, though, yeah? We're sending him for a CT scan. But it would help if you told me exactly what happened. He flipped is what happened. He was breaking into a place on Lincoln Week. Yeah, he came at me with a crowbar and then he took me head off. It was all I could do to defend myself. WPC here watched it happen. Yeah, that's right. Now, any chance I could get some treatment? Follow me. So what, man? You fail a few exams, not exactly the end of the world, is it? <laughs> I tried telling my dad that 
He's expecting straight A's. Oh, really? Oh, mate, that's no good. Right, let's head this. Oh. What are you doing here? Oh, when you didn't turn up, I went round yours and your dad said you was here. Well, you didn't have to come all the way down. Of course I did. I was worried about you. I'm just gonna keep going, all right? Look, I don't know how long I'll be, but uh, it's probably best if you, like, head off. Don't be soft. I want to stay. I've got a date, remember? Do you want me to take your books? No, I'll, I'll need them. Listen, why don't you just go and wait in the way now? It won't be long. Okay. All right? Mate, she is fit. What? Oh, okay, yeah, she's cool. Cool? <laughs> what? You're not exactly much of a romantic guy, are well, It's not that serious. Well, someone better tell her that then. Because she is well keen. Trust me, she come all the way down here to see if you're okay. No, I didn't ask her to, right? right. Sorry. I'm just stressed about exams. All I can think about. Sometimes I wonder what she's doing with me. Oh, you got the gift, man. Gift. Women are drawn to you. You're like a, you're like a sexual magnet. You can't fight it. I oh, know, because I'm the same. You've got the gift. Well, at least I used to. Kind of lost it a bit recently. Never get involved with a doctor, mate. Anyway, better get you sorted fast because you have got a hot day tonight. No. I don't know. Oh, speak to Dr. Pia. Well, we need to sort that arm out first. No, you don't understand. This is important. Yes, well, this is also very important because if we don't treat it. Well, I might be scarred for life. Okay, listen, Hannah. Let me do this and then we'll both go and look for Dr. Keo. How about that? Thank you. Now, do you want to tell me how this happened? Oh, I was boiling water, I spilled it. I'm stupid. Yeah, but that was earlier, though, wasn't it? What? I read your notes. We treated the burn this afternoon. So how did oh, how did you injure it again? Hannah, Hannah, come back. Hannah, Hannah, we need to treat your arm. Come on. No, 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 no,